All right, class. It's week one and session number three. In the last class, we had discussed about the uh, pie chart. So I hope that all of you find it very easy because that is an easy topic. And there are two categories in the topic. One, how to read the pie chart. And the second one is how to construct the pie chart, which we had done in the last lecture. In today's class, we are going to discuss the topic measure of central tendency. All right. Now, in measure of central tendency, basically we have three things to cover out, and those three things are mean, median, and mode. All right. These are the three things we need to cover in the topic measure of central tendency. Now, firstly, we need to start with the mean. That what does it represent? So, mean is basically the average value of your data. If you talk about median, median represents the middle value of your data, and if you talk about the mode, mode is the most repeated value of your data. These three, which I have explained, is very in general terms. That in generally mean is average, in generally median is the middle value, and mode is the most repeated term. That is the general definition of these three terms. Now, before we need to understand uh, the working of mean, median, and mode, we need to understand before that there are two types of data. All right. The first category is we have group data, and the next category we have is ungrouped data. So for both type of data, there are some different strategies to find out mean, median, and mode. All right. Now, firstly, what is the difference between these two data? The ungrouped data is always the scattered data. All right. Data in scattered form, like I'm saying that the numbers are three, five, two, one, five, four. That is an example of scattered data. If I talk about the group data, for group data, it must be in a tabular form. All right, it must be in a tabular form. We have x, or you can say class integral, or we have f. In group data, we don't have the value of x with us. We have class integral, right? And what do you mean by class integral? Let's suppose I'm saying that two x and not equal to this time it is 4 similarly 4 x and 6 6 x and 8 all right so that is an example of grouped data in ungrouped data we have scattered values like you have uh, seen there and in group data we have a table and in that table we have uh, uh, you can see a class interval there and frequency is 3, 5, any random value that is given in your question. All right. All right. Let's suppose that in your group data, um, let's suppose there are certain values that I have picked, but uh, also we have some 5, 5, uh, 2, there are also the values. Now, why I am adding these two val these values here, there is reason. At first, I'm going to start with mean. All right. So mean for ungrouped data, mean is what? Mean is average. Mean for ungrouped data, the working formula is very simple. And it says that mean is equals to sum divided by n. All right, class. I hope that it is clear to you. So if you add all those numbers, if I do it man uh, mentally, so 3, 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 1, 11, 11 plus 5, 16, 16 plus 4, 20, 20 plus 10, 30, and 30 plus 2, that is 32. How many terms we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 32 divided by 9, if you... Uh, Solve it with the help of the calculator. So 32 divided by 9 gives you the value of 3.55. So that is a mean of ungrouped data. Alright. For group data mean, 
the first step is summation of fx divided by summation of f that is the breaking formula to find out the uh, group data the mean of group data all right but here we don't have the value x with us x is what x is basically the midpoint so firstly we need to pick uh, we need to find out the midpoints and for midpoints 2 plus 4 6 divided by 2 it's 3 it's 5 and it's 7 now you have the value of midpoint that means we can find out fx fx means what we need to multiply f with the midpoint the three threes are 9 5 5 are 25 and 7 7 are 49 once you got the value of fx you need to add it some 9 plus 25 plus 49 basically this sign is submission and it means you need to add all those values divided by it says summation of frequency so add all the values of frequency 3 plus 5 plus 7 all right so in the numerator it's 9 plus 25 plus 49 gives you the value of 83 and in the denominator it's 15 so 83 divided by 15 it gives you the value of 5.53 that's how you find out the mean of group data. Alright class, any problem so far? I hope that there won't be any problem. And now you need to write down the solution in this copy. And you have a time of one and a half minute to write down both for the ungrouped data and for the group data. Alright, so start doing that. Alright, after mean, the next thing we have is median. All right, and uh, what is median? Median is a middle value. Whenever you are finding the median of ungrouped data, the first and the very important step that you need to arrange your data in ascending order always. All right, so if I arrange my data in ascending order, so that will be equals to first number is first one, so I will make a cross at it. Two, we have two twos, so two and two. After that we have 1, 3, 3, after that we have 1, 4, 4, and after that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, alright, so that is, uh, I have arranged all my values in ascending order, now the breaking formula for median is n plus 1 divided by 2, whether you are dealing with group data or ungrouped data, it does not matter, formula is same for both of these data types. But the value of n is differs in both the cases. Here n in ungrouped data is number of terms. All right. So how many terms we have? We have nine terms. So if I apply the working formula, that is n plus one upon two. So n plus one divided by two. N is nine. Nine plus one ten upon two. Ten upon two is basically five. Five is not the answer. 5 is the position of the median value so 1 2 3 4 5 so fifth value is 4 that means the median of this ungrouped data is 4 all right i hope that it is clear to you now moving towards median of a group data all right i'm just uh, removing these values here now whenever you are finding the median of group data the important thing is here the value of n is basically the summation of all the frequencies all right that means we have the frequency value it is equal to 15 as we had find in the previous part if you apply the working formula here it's n plus 1 divided by 2 and is 15 plus 1 16 upon 2 that is equals to 8 that means now we are looking for the 8th value 8th term right and how you are going to find out that value which is very simple write down the first value as it is three whatever the value is you need to write it down and add the next value so three plus five it's eight and eight plus seven it's fifteen we are looking for the term eight eight is present in this category right so that is the median so median we have or the middle value of this data we have lies in the group 4 is 
lesser than equals to x and six. That is your median point. All right. So I hope that it is clear to you. And for median part, you need to uh, write down in your copies, and you have a time of uh, 90 seconds to write down all those uh, relevant information in your copy. And then I will start with the mode part. So write down in your copies. All right. I at last we need to discuss about mode. What is mode in ungrouped data? For ungrouped data, mode is most repeated number, and for grouped data, mode is highest frequency value. Highest frequency value. All right. So in my question, five is repeating four times, right? That means most repeated number is five, and that is the mode of ungrouped data. If you observe the mode of group data, so you need to highlight the highest frequency. Highest frequency is 7, but 7 is not the mode. The mode is the class interval that is 6, x, and 8. So that is your mode of a group data. So you need to write down those two important things that mode for ungrouped data is the most repeated value and mode for group data is the highest frequency value all right so now there is one more um, you know method to define the ungrouped data and that method is what you will see that in the starting phase of the question i have added some values here there is a reason and now i'm telling the reason of to add those values uh, numbers we have in our data is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, right? So if I uh, do it in this way that I make a table like this one, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, right? Now how many times we have 1? One? 1 is 1 time, 2 is 2 times, so I'm just completing it. 1 is 1 time, 2 is 2 times. 3 is uh, 1 time, 3 is 1 time, 4 is also 1 time, and 5 is 4 times, alright. Now this data, that is not a group data, that is also ungrouped data, but in tabular form, alright. Keep in mind that for group data, you have these intervals with you, that is meant by group data and for group data we always find the estimated mean because we need to find out the midpoint due to the uh, fact that we don't have the exact value of x in our group data all right so now when you have such type of data and you will see that in your past paper questions you will see a lot of examples like this one x and f so if you need to find out how you need to find mean of that question so the working formula will be same that summation of fx divided by summation of f now you need to find out the value of fx that means you need to multiply these two 1 1s are 1 2 2s are 4 3 1s are 3 4 1s are 4 and 5 4s are 20 now you need to add all those values so 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 20 it's 32 if you add all the frequency values, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 3, 9. And 32 divided by 9, that is 3.55. So you can verify your mean. You had find this one. Right? So the mean is same, median will be same, and mode is also the same. But keep in mind that this table style data is um, ungrouped data, not the group data mostly people think that this is an um, group data but this is not for group data make sure that you have class intervals right 1 till 2 2 till 3 3 till 4 such type of data is a group data all right so if if now i give you some example now let's suppose that there is an example simple example x and f the value of x we have is 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the value of frequencies is 2, 0, 5, 1, 4, 3, 2. So for this part, you need to find the value of mean, the value of mode, and the value of median. Alright, so you need to find out these three uh, terms and for that part, you have a time of 4 minutes to complete the question. So first you will give it a try and then I will explain so start. Alright, for the first part in which you need to find out the value of mean. Mean is first thing you need to find fx. 2 1s are 2, 2 zeros are 0, 5 3s are 15, 4 1s are 4, 5 4s are 20, 6 3s are 18 and 7 2s are 14. Now you need to add those numbers, 15 plus 2 17, 17 plus 4 is 21, 21 plus 20 it's 41, 41 plus 18 it's 59 and 59 plus 14 it's 73. So submission fx is 73. If you add all the frequency values 2 plus 5 7 plus 1 8 plus 4 12 plus 3 15 plus 2 17. So 73 divided by 17 it's 4.3 that is your mean. Alright so I expect that all of you um, had did it had done it or all of you were trying on the same uh, strategies that we had discussed previously right. After that, it says find out the mode. The mode is the one with the highest frequency and highest frequency is 5. That means the mode is 3. And if you talk about median, first we need to apply the formula n plus 1 divided by 2 where n is what? n is summation of f. The total frequency we have is 17. So 17 plus 1 divided by 2, it's 18 divided by 2 implies to 9. So for median part, I need to drop those values of fx. Now we are looking for ninth term, right? So first, first term is as it is, 2 plus 0, 2, 2 plus 5, 7, 7 plus 1, 8, 8 plus 4, 12. That means 9, 10, 11, 12. These four values lie inside the group and we are looking for 9. So the median we have is 5. So the median we have is 5. Alright class. So that is quite a you know uh, important lecture regarding mean, median and mode of ungroup and group data both. Now we are going to attempt the question from your worksheet. If you have the worksheet it's very good. If you don't have the worksheet can you drop me a message. So I will upload it on photo and you will have it and you can start your practice from that worksheet. So I have some questions. Uh, let me just zoom it a bit. Alright. Now, it says that the mean of 7, 15, 12, 5, h and 13 centimeter is 10 centimeter. What is given to you? We have the value of mean. And the value of mean is what? It's 10. Alright. So if I write all those numbers, it's 7, 15, 12, 5, H and 13. We need to find or we need to apply the method of mean in this question. First thing that you need to answer is which type of data we are dealing with. So obviously we are dealing with ungroup data. All right, there is no table in that question. And my second point, what is the working formula of mean of ungrouped data? So it's very simple, that mean is sum divided by m. So we need to do the same, all right? We need to apply the working formula of mean, mean equals to sum divided by n. The value of mean is 10. Sum, if you add all those numbers, it's 7 plus 15 plus 12 plus 5 plus h plus 13 divided by what is n? n is number of values. How many terms we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
so we have six terms all right now we need to solve it and uh, find out the value of uh, h so 6 times 10 is 16 equals to if you add all those numbers so 7 plus 15 it's 22 22 plus 12 it's 34 34 plus 5 it's 39 and 39 plus 13 it's 52 right now we can easily find out the value of h 60 minus 52 that is equals to 8 all right an easy question of ungrouped data it is so you need to write down the question in your copy and for that part you have a time of one minute so start All right, moving on to another example of mean. So here's the question. It says that the mean of eight number is 12. Five of the numbers are six, eight, five, 10, and 28. The remaining three numbers are each equals to A. So if I write down all the numbers, it's six, eight, five, 10, 28 and then all other three numbers equals to k k and k find the sum of the eight numbers all right you need to find out the sum of the eight numbers so the first question that strikes to your mind is how you are going to find out the value of these eight numbers when these three numbers are unknown all right but not to worry about we know that that is an ungrouped data and to find out the mean the working formula is sum divided by n so basically the sum that is missing in the question or it is being asked in the first part is what we have in the numerator right the good thing is the value of mean is known it's 12 so you can say that mean is 12 sum is what we are looking for and number of terms we have are 8. Now you can easily find out the sum of these 8 numbers by simply cross multiplication. So 8 times 12 it's 96. So that is your first part answer. In the next part you need to find out the value of k. So I am giving you the time of 90 seconds to note down the first part and to attempt by yourself what should be the value of k. So start.
all right so what you need to do here it's very simple we know that if we add up all those values it will sum up to 96 so 6 plus 8 14 14 plus 5 19 19 plus 10 29 and 29 29 plus 28 it's 57 so you can say that 57 plus 3k equals to 96 all right so now it's very simple 96 minus 57 the answer is 39 divided by 3 gives you the value of 13 and that is your final answer all right so i expect that all of you now have a good idea how to attempt the mean questions moving on to the next one that is median all right now in this question it says that the height in centimeter of 18 students are recorded height and number of students you have on your screen find the median height of the students now that is a group data question right first thing you need to recall the important things of median to find out the median the working formula we apply is n plus 1 divided by 2 as discussed in the beginning of this lecture the second and the important thing is what in this scenario of group data n is basically the summation of frequency all right so the total frequency we have is 18 or if you add them 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 8 is 18 all right so the total frequency is 18 that is summation of f now if i apply the working formula so that will be 18 plus 1 divided by 2 the value of n is 18 18 plus 1 it's 19 divided by 2 it leads to 9.5 9.5 is basically the placement and it defines or it indicates the ninth position or the tenth position or the middle value all right so we need to identify those two positions in our this table how you are going to do that it's very simple write down the first term as it is all right now add the next number in it so 2 plus 2 leads to 4 right 4 plus 5 leads to 9 9 plus 1 leads to 10 wait a minute aren't we looking for these two numbers yes we are looking for these two numbers so that means the first number ninth lie in this group 156 and the next number 158 lies in the next group now what should be the median should it be equals to 156 or 158 so the answer is when you have such scenario in which the first number lie in the first group and the next number lie in the second group so you need to find out the middle value of these two so the middle value of 156 and 158 is 157 and that is the median of this question all right i hope now you have an idea how to find median of a group data so you need to write down in your copies and the time for this question is one minute so write down in your lecture copies Alright, so if you are having problem in median, not to worry about, 
we are going to solve one more question of median of a group data and this time you need to attempt the question by yourself first and then I will explain it later. So you have a time of one minute to attempt the question by yourself and then I will start. So begin. All right, so what I expect from you that what you need to be done in this question is first thing you need to find out the value of summation of frequency and in this question it's 8 plus 4 12, 12 plus 3 15, 15 plus 10 25 and 25 plus 3 it's 28. All right, after that the next step is you need to apply the working formula and that is n plus 1 divided by 2 where n is 28, 28 plus 1 29 divided by 2 it leads to 14.5. 14.5 indicates that two terms we have are 14th and 15th term. All right. If you had attempted your question till this step, then you are on the right path. You are doing very well. You are going fine. Now, what you need to do next, first thing, you need to write down the first frequency as it is. Now, add the next one. So, 8 plus 4, it leads to 12. 12 plus 3 it leads to 15 15 plus 10 leads to 25 all right but wait a minute the numbers that we are looking for is 14 and 15 so 14 and 15 both of the numbers lie in this group so the median you have is 7 that is your answer right Let's suppose in the same question, if I talk about mode, can you identify what is the value of mode here? So for mode, what I had taught you is mode with the highest frequency and the highest frequency we have is 10, but mode is not 10. Keep in mind, mode is not 10, mode is 8. The one with the highest frequency is your mode. All right. Is it clear to all of you? If it is clear, write down in your copies. It will be very good if you maintain your lecture copies from the beginning of the session. So you will have a quick revision when you are going to um, for your assessments, midterms, etc. So make sure that you are going to maintain your copies, uh, including the homework from the beginning of the session. It will be very helpful for you at the end when you are going to revise your syllabus. All right, class, uh, I think that is quite enough for today's class. We have attempted uh, some of the basic examples of mean, median, mode of group and ungrouped data. Uh, and we had discussed the working formula of group and ungrouped data. Uh, I'm talking about this one, right? So in the next class, we are going to start from the worksheet, uh, which will be provided uh, to you. Uh, if you, uh, I think it is quite uploaded on the portal. If it is not uploaded, you need to drop me a message. So I will upload it ASAP. All right, class. So inshallah, next class, we are going to start from the worksheet. Uh, till then, what you need to do, you need to revise all those working formulas. You need to learn all those working formula that what is that, what are the strategies to apply those working formulas? That is very important. So that when in, when you join the next class, you will be very much familiar with the topic. Alright class, see you next class, take care and Allah Hafiz.